guys good morning good afternoon depending on what part of the globe you're at so hopefully everybody's doing great so today I'm going to put forth another insightful content for you guys to help you guys to be able to create to master and basically live your life of purpose live, live your life the way you desire the way you dreamed of it okay so that's what I want to start off but first I want to start off you know by saying a big thank you to all you guys because you've really been putting forth these teachings and uh, we can see that from the growth of this channel, you know, over 21,000 subscribers already. I think within a four day span, we had a thousand subscribers. So that's a great, great testament, or, you know, to see how things are working. And these, these, these methods and the system, the way it works is in accordance with the universal principle, you know, the science behind it, you know, the quantum physics uh, ailment part of it. And, uh, all these sorts of different parts, in particular with your mind, how your subconscious mind and your conscious mind, how they create and how they interact or how they can also propel or retract from each other. So that is excellent. And I wanna thank you guys and commend you guys for, for continuing to do that. Now, always remember, when you find this channel, there's no thing as coincidence. So now you guys are aware of what coincidences are. They don't exist. Everything happens for a purpose, so you're here to fulfill or find a purpose that I should teach or impart to you so that you can create and expand your life, your reality. Okay? Also want to keep in mind that the website, Uh go log on, take advantage of those free courses, master your mind, learn the basic, learn the premises of how your mind works so that you can create and attract. You see the difference with this channel is what I provide here for you guys is the missing link, the details, the inner ingredients that a lot of other uh, channels or a lot of other teachers, they may omit. And this, within this uh, channel, you will find the answers. You put, you put the missing pieces together. And that is because it's my purpose, it's my duty to do so, to help you to master it so that you can freely create. Because when you create and manifest your desires, it raises the consciousness of the entire uh, collective consciousness of the universe and everybody benefits. So that's the that's the beauty of all this is that everyone benefits all right so take advantage get those courses there www.markethall.com now also the coaching program i am creating the online version it's going to be a duplicate of the one-on-one -on -one version so that will definitely help that will be available very shortly sometime in august so keep a look out on the website for that you can take advantage of that program uh, that alleviates and takes all the backdrop backdrop of up to two months of waiting list so that individuals now you guys can go on there and get the program and get the coaching as just as I put forth in the one-on-one -on -one. as far as the one-on-one -on -one now it's it's gonna be limited now because more consistency now will be placed on the online version but of course I'll still do one-on-one -on -one. it's limited so if you want you can reach me at mhaughton76 at gmail.com uh, just for the one-on-one -on -one inquiry but concentrate on that new format will be on the website the uh, full coaching program it's a duplicate of the one-on-one -on -one program take advantage it can help many many individuals therefore it can alleviate all the backdrop of all the waiting lists so you guys don't have to wait two months uh, to take advantage the system is there I put forth the same system I teach as the one-on-one -on -one format you guys will be able to create a manifest all right so good so okay let's begin today's lesson okay so what do we want to talk about so today I want to reveal to you the ultimate secret to manifest your desires all right and this might surprise you guys and this is going to work i'm going to show you how it works i'm going to break it down to you so that you can see how it works on a molecular and scientific level then you can bring it in into your our conscious awareness right so basically the ultimate secret okay is known as letting go okay letting go the ultimate secret to change and manifest your life so what does letting go really mean well, in layman's term, I want to say, you know, basically the ultimate secret is wanting your desires without needing it, okay? So you want it without needing it. So the first tip here is to create anything you desire, anything you want to bring into your life, we must operate from a state of feeling good or a state of making it fun. Be happy. Do not take it seriously. You do not need it. That's how you have to operate, okay? Because... You cannot manifest abundance from a state of desperation or fear. So that's the first tip. You do not 
create based on fear or desperation. Because here's what's happening on a subatomic level. When you are creating or you're, or you're fearing or you're in a desperate mode or you're needing something, you're sending a counteractive signal to the universe, okay? As an energy form, as, in, as a frequency. Because as you may now be aware of, your entire body, all the molecules within your body, your bone structure, your thoughts, they all contain at atomic particles and they all vibrate. They have resonance to them. They have frequencies. This is how things work. This is how we attract. This is how we create. And this is how we get what we get in, this, in the universe, okay? So let's talk about rule number one of the universe. This is rule number one, okay? Number one, the first rule of everything is this. Your subconscious mind along with the universe, God, okay? It believes that you already have everything you desire because you are part of it. You are the co-creator of it. That means money, same atomic particles are money, same atomic particles are you. The stars, the same atomic particles in the stars are the same atomic particles in you. Your car, your house, your thoughts, you all have the same atomic particles. The difference that separates them is how they are arranged in different building block formats. That's why they look different. That's why a car looks a car, a house looks like a house. But in the, the, the core premise, according to quantum physics and quantum mechanics, is that these elementary particles, these energetic uh, bonds are quantized, they are part of you, hence the done deal, the universe said it's yours. It's rule number one. So now you know that if you if you say, oh, I must have this, I must have that, okay? Now you're affirming to the universe that, okay, you're in a state of need now. Because remember, must have is counteractive. You already have it. So you don't say I must have. You must come from it from the perspective of, wow, wouldn't it be nice? Great, I'd love to have that from a fun point. In other words, you desire it but you don't need it. You can live without it. That's the trick. Once you can master that part, then the letting go becomes easy because now you're in harmony with your subconscious mind, your higher self, and the universe, okay? All right, now it's the other part. So we have the letting go portion of it. Now here's the other important part to let things work. We have to change our subconscious blueprint. Your subconscious mind is the map, is the gateway to higher intelligence. This is where everything creates, okay? So let me go over four principles to change your subconscious blueprint. You want, this, this is how you'll get into your subconscious mind. This is how you'll change whatever it is that's holding you back. Number one, first principle to change your subconscious blueprint, number one, is visualizations. See the image in your mind? Put forth and becomes your reality. That's the first, the first key to change your subconscious blueprint. The second way to change your subconscious blueprint, affirmations. Brainwave frequencies are certain ones you can use to, to remove those blocks. That's the second way. The third portion to remove your subconscious blocks is through what we call hypnosis, okay? You can hypnotize or self-hypnosis that gets into your subconscious mind. Okay, and the fourth way is through your own affirmations, okay? Using affirmations, using your own voice, okay? speaking aloud to your mind. These are the ways you can change your subconscious blueprint. So that's the factor there. So you wanna, you wanna combine these together so that you can create, all right? Now let's go back to letting go. So what does letting go mean? Letting go basically means to be detached, okay? Because here's how it, here's how it works. From the moment you give your intention, example, you wanna manifest a home. You see, the, you see the home you want, okay? You start to visualize it. There's your intention, now the universe has it. Now you let go. You don't desperately need it. You don't desperately hope for it. You let go. Now the forces and the energy forces now they are, they are together. They're aligned and in harmony with your subconscious mind. And now the universe can bring it to you in an easy and effortless way. Look, here's the number one issue that also stops you from getting what you want. It's known as the intellect mind or the ego. Okay? It, it basically deceives you and tricks you and tells you that you have to try hard. You have to push. But if you look at it, that actually is against the law of the universe, okay? Okay, resistance, forcefulness, these go against the, pr the prime law of the universe. The prime law of the universe is abundance and allowance. There's, there's no, you don't have to resist. It's a free flowing struggle. There's no struggle when it comes to creative forces within the universe. But here's why your ego does this. Because your ego was conditioned to believe that when you try hard or when you work, it feels good about itself. So it basically, ego wants a pat on his back, saying, yeah, we tried, at least we tried. But what you're doing is you're counteractively resisting your own manifestation. 
Because here's what you're doing. Anytime you start to create resistance or you try to figure or try to see the ways it could come up with, here's the truth, my friend. The intellect part of your mind cannot do it, cannot handle that information. Therefore, now you start to worry, you start to doubt, and you start to lose your energy and you give up. See, the reason why a lot of us, or a lot of individuals give up on their goals, because they try to figure out by using that intellect mind to see how many ways it could come about. Come about. And here's the sad truth about it. If you use your intellect mind to try to figure out how you're going to get your desires, you're going to be very disappointed because they come up with only a few dozen or maybe a few. And now the few ways to come up with it might, can, it might not even satisfy you. And then you say, you know what? I can't see any other way that I'm going to receive my desires. Therefore, I'm just going to give up. See that? But your subconscious or your higher mind, on the other hand, that's what it was created to do. It was designed to bring forth things to you in infinite ways that your intellect mind cannot handle. So the first key is you have to disengage and get that intellect mind out of the picture. In other words, do not be concerned about how it will materialize or how it will come into your reality to try to figure out the intricate plots. Because your mind, the intellect mind, wasn't created to do that. So you got to get that out. And when you let go, that shows now you are allowing now. There's no resistance. And here's the beauty of all that. I can guarantee you one thing. Once you let go, and once you put it in that form that I'm showing you right now, now you give the power to what is known as your true self, the authentic you, your higher self. That higher mind now comes in because it knows all the ways to get it to you. And it's going to bring it to you. It will lead you to it. It will attract it to you. It will give you the insights, the ideas, the visions, the dreams. They'll all come to you and you'll meet it up on it. Boom. It'll be effortless. Right? Look, this is the same principle with anything. With If you want to get a, a, a mate, girlfriend, boyfriend... You want to manifest the lottery, all these things. The, you have to come from it from a state of, you know, I desire it, but I don't need it. It's icing on the cake. Winning the lottery is just icing on the cake. I already have it. Because according to the universal principles, energy, everything is energy, including money. It's already yours. So this is how you have to come at it. Come at it from a playful, happy stance. You know, great. It would definitely be nice for me to have that. More of that. Great. Definitely be nice for me to win 20 million in the lottery. I love it. Although I don't need it, I know I can get, I'll have it. See that? If you come from that state of mind and then you start to visualize it, now you'll meet the harmony. Because here's a, here's a fact. Subconscious mind doesn't judge. It doesn't. It just It's waiting to match vibratory electromagnetic frequencies. That's what it's doing. It's constantly monitoring and picking up and it's ready to go in action. Okay? The intellect mind is the mind that will judge you. The intellect mind is the ego mind that will tell you, you don't have that, you can't do that. Then if you allow yourself to be swayed by that mind, then you're out of harmony. So you have to put that mind to the side. You have to disengage that part of the mind. Okay? You have to realize, that here's the big tip. If you're using your intellect mind, you're going in a circle. I repeat that. If you're using your intellect mind to try to create or try to justify see things, you're going in a perpetual circle, what I call the reality loop. Because here's the fact, your intellect mind does not create reality. Here's how what it does. All reality is created via the subconscious higher mind, okay? Once that reality is created, then your intellect mind comes in and then it takes that reality that you've been, that's created and it contaminates it, it muddies it up. That's all it does. So if you are desiring to create, now you know you must leave the intellect mind out of the picture. In layman's term, do not try to figure out how things are going to come. Do not try to force. Do not try to push it. Okay? Leave it to your higher mind. It's all about trust. If you can trust the process, I can guarantee you you are going to see the results. The reason it's so difficult to trust the process is because what you have been taught or what you've been programmed, okay? It's about struggle, about fear, about lack, okay? And your intellect mind developed that persona. So your intellect mind will always fight you or always counteract you with a, with a negative thought. It'll always tell you, nope, can't do it. I can't see the way. How is that going to work, okay? But because you haven't been aware of how that mind works, you succumb to it. But now, I've just given you the biggest tip, the awareness of the intellect or the ego mind. Having that awareness now puts you in a new level. Because now you can say, wait a minute, Mark just showed me. If I'm using this intellect mind of mine, 
I am not creating anything. I'm just stopping my own progress. So let me get out of the way. So how do I get out of the way of my intellect mind? It's very simple. You visualize, okay? You meditate. And you keep yourself in the present moment. These are how you get out of the intellect mind. What else? You only keep your thoughts on what you desire or anything that makes you feel good. This is how you get out of that intellect mind, okay? By doing these methods, you are reconditioning that mind only on a positive vibration. Focusing only on what you want or things that make you feel good creates a perpetual high electromagnetic frequency, okay? The law of attraction, which is the gravitational force that binds and attracts all matter, now it comes into play. Subconscious, gateway to your higher self. Higher self picks it up and becomes attracted to you and you meet it and manifest it effortlessly. Same principle. If you're doing the lottery, same way. You know, the lottery, you got to think, okay, I don't need the lottery. I have the money already. Come from it from a playful perspective. Do not come from fear. I need it. I got to have it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, if I don't have it, I go, I'm go going down. See, that's the intellect mind because now you're going to justify yourself. Well, at least I tried. Yeah, but you tried, but you still didn't get what you want. See that? So you still don't have it. So that's the intellect mind. So disengage that intellect mind and then get into your higher mind. Use your visuals, okay? I'll give you some quick quick tips on the visualization process, okay? The elements of visualizations, okay? Uh, clarity. Get clear on what you want. Sit down. Think to yourself, what do I want? What do I desire? Okay, what's the intention behind it? When, when I have this, how will it make me feel? What's the purpose? Okay, now you have your mind working. Okay, so this is why I want it. Remember, the mind doesn't judge. Your higher mind doesn't judge. You can get anything you desire. No one's going to judge you. Only your intellect and you get that out of the way. So you see what you want. Okay, now I see what I want. Now you start to practice frequency, which is mean more and more. This is how your brain works. The more you do something, or the more you put something within the mind frame, it will start to loop it, to loop it, to loop it, and it becomes a clear image and it becomes believable, okay? Now, you want what you want to do now? You want to hold the image. Meaning, when you see the image in your mind, hold it, hold it, hold it. The longer you hold the image, it gets impressed into your subconscious mind for more believability, all right? That's the part of visualization, okay? What's the other part of visualization? Time. Okay, what does time mean? Basically means the longer, more frequent you visualize, comes in okay the other part is the emotion now, this is the tricky part here doesn't mean you have to go ahead and muscle up and build a lot of emotions what you can do is you can use your own mind to your advantage because if you when you're visualizing something you desire or something you want here's how your mind works your mind will track you it automatically produce the emotions for you if you see yourself walking in a beautiful park a sunny day it feels good guess what your mind's gonna automatically feel good along with you okay because remember that that's how your mind works. So you don't have to push, push, push the emotion. It'll build naturally. So when you visualize it, you see it, keep your mind in the present moment, meaning that you do not try to control all things. You let go. Okay? Did you know if you're in the present moment, it's literally impossible to have a problem? Yeah. Because it'll happen. If you're living moment to moment, whatever comes up, you deal with it right then and there. It's no problem. If you have your higher self to help you. Problems arise in our minds because of a future thinking. Okay, here's a problem. A problem is when you think of something you cannot handle now. If you could handle something now, it's not a problem. Okay? A problem becomes because you can't handle it now. It's your mind gives you the future illusion. Oh man, this is going to happen. Now you start to think, you worry. That becomes a problem. See that? All problem arises from an illusion point set in your, in your intellect mind. Gotta remember that. If you're in the present moment, and you're living moment and you're in the moment enjoying it focusing your thoughts only on what you desire boom nothing pro no problem if something comes up I'll either deal with it as it happens my higher self will help me here's a big tip when you're in the present moment it's like you're in the universal factory of creation the present moment is where everything happens this is where creation occurs this is where you meet your higher mind this is where you get the intellect the the the, uh, the higher consciousness so to speak this is where you get the inspired action, the nudges, these where the things come to you, this is where they get downloaded into your consciousness so that you can use it to create your reality. That's the beauty of the present moment. Your conscious intellect mind always fights you away from the present moment. Why? Because it cannot reside there because it has no control. Always remember, my intellect mind is a mind driven to control. Leave that control mind out and you easily manifest, okay? So now you've learned the biggest secret let go do not worry about how it's gonna come when it's gonna come where it's gonna come from you trust the process 
and I guarantee you follow these methods, you visualize it, you see it, you continue with your meditation, you keep your thoughts only on things that make you feel good, raise the vibration, and you monitor that intellect mind and you put it to the side, boom, your desires will come true. It's a universal law, it's cause and effect, all right? So those are some big tips for you guys today, and I'll continue and I'll continue to put out some more helpful content for you guys. Thank you.